Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro is a Portuguese footballer considered one of the best strikers in the world. In addition to the numerous titles and individual distinctions obtained throughout his career at Manchester United in 2003-2009 and at Real Madrid since 2009, he had the honor of being the highest paid footballer. In June 2009, the transfer of Ronaldo to Real Madrid cost the white club 94 million euros. Until then, it was recorded the highest figure in history. If you want to know more about Cristiano Ronaldo, you're at the right place. But first like and subscribe to this channel, and then sit back and relax. Parents Cristiano Ronaldo was born in a working-class neighborhood on the Portuguese island of Madeira. He was born into a family of three brothers. Cristiano Ronaldo was born in Funchal, Madeira, on February 5, 1985. And he's the son of Maria Dolores Dos Santos Aveiro and Jose Dinis Aveiro. His father, Jose Dinis Aveiro, was the equipment manager for Andorina Club, while his mother, Maria Dolores Dos Santos, was a cook. He was the youngest child in the family. From a very young age, he showed his exceptional interest for soccer. At the age of eight, he played for the Andorina team. And at ten, he was already competing for it with the two biggest teams on the island the Maritimo, and Clube Desportivo Nacional. After completing some tests at 16, he joined Sporting Lisbon and moved to live in the Portuguese capital. At Sporting Lisbon, he was assigned to psychologists, personal trainers, school counselors, and doctors to oversee the physical growth of a promising youngster who would become a tough athlete. In October 2001, at the age of 17, Ronaldo made his debut in a full match of the Portuguese Super League, making a favorable impression on both the fans and the press. His contribution would be fundamental in obtaining the 2001-2002 title for the Lisbon club. How did Ronaldo change the history of Manchester United? In the summer of 2003, a friendly match was played between Sporting and Manchester United, during the inauguration of the Jose Alvalade Stadium. Cristiano Ronaldo played such an exceptional game in that match that he dazzled his teammates and rivals. Among them, the Manchester coach who managed to get his club to sign Cristiano for 18 million euros. This operation coincided with the sale of captain David Beckham to Real Madrid, so Cristiano's entry into the traditional English club meant the expectation of a replacement in the form of a successor. In his first year at Manchester United, he scored the first goal that would lead his club to the English League Cup in the tournament final. In his second season, he would emerge as one of the FIFA best young players of 2005, scoring Manchester United's 1,000th Premier League goal in October of that year. In 2006-07, he was the second leading scorer with 17 points. At the end of the season, his salary was already around 4.2 million euros per year. Meanwhile, the Portuguese player had developed an enormous catalogue of technical resources, an impressive free kick, impeccable and unpredictable even for the most prestigious goalkeepers, an unbalanced speed of play, and a propentious mastery of headers. He thus formed his reputed profile as a fearsome striker, even at a great distance from the opposing goal. He appeared by surprise from a second row and overwhelmed his markers with speed and quality. He drew sudden diagonals and was an expert in shooting on the wrong foot attacking on the right and shooting with the left, vice versa. It was naturally in the English team where he achieved his consecration, and throughout the six seasons he spent in Manchester, 2003-2009, to he contributed decisively to expanding the club's track record in the league, FIFA Cup, and champions, leaving an overwhelming goal-scoring repertoire from which the Portuguese team would also benefit. The 2007 and 2008 season ended with a new record for Ronaldo, or CR7, as he wants to be known. By breaking the record for goals in the best single season held by George Best, 32 goals. The Portuguese star scored 42 goals, 31 of them in the league. In May 2008, Manchester played the Champions League final against Chelsea. Ronaldo scored the equalizing goal in regulation minutes, but missed in the penalty shootout. How did Ronaldo become the best footballer in the world? His extraordinary results made him worthy of the golden boot and postulated him as the best candidate to win the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player, compared to other talents such as Argentine Leo Messi and Spaniard Fernando Torres. Ronaldo won both awards by a landslide, becoming the third Portuguese to receive the Ballon d'Or on December 2, 2008, awarded by France Football Magazine, after Yuspio and Luis Figo. 
On January 12, 2009, there were no surprises as the Portuguese star also won the FIFA World Player, which accredited him as the best footballer on the planet in the opinion of the coaches and captains of national teams around the world. Cristiano got 931 points, followed by Messi with 678 points, Torres with 203 points. His sports profile had acquired unusual characteristics in the media, becoming a media figure. Sir Alex Ferguson, manager of Manchester, had no choice but to tie up his shining star who was sought after by other great European teams. When did Ronaldo start playing for Real Madrid? Already in 2007, Real Madrid had been interested in transferring him, offering the figure of 80 million euros, the highest in history to date. But the player decided to renew his contract with the English club until 2012. How Ronaldo changed the history of Real Madrid on September 12, 2015, at the start of the new season, he scored five goals in Real Madrid's victory against Espanyol and surpassed Raul Gonzalez as the top scorer in the Spanish league. On October 2nd of that same year, Real Madrid paid him tribute for having becoming the club's all-time top scorer with 323 goals. On May 28, 2016, he was crowned champion of the Champions League where Real Madrid defeated Atletico de Madrid. On November 6, 2016, the player renewed his contract with Real Madrid until 2021, and on December 12th of the same year, he won the Ballon d'Or for the fourth time. That accredited him as the best player in the world in 2016. On January 9th, 2017, he won FIFA's The Best Award. On October 23rd, 2017, Cristiano Ronaldo won FIFA's The Best Award, which again recognized him as the best player in the world. On December 7, 2017, the player won the Ballon d'Or, awarded by France Football Magazine, which again recognized him as the best player in the world for the year. On December 28, 2017, Cristiano Ronaldo was distinguished for the fifth time with the Globe Soccer Award for the Best Player of the Year 2017. What was Ronaldo's highest transfer? It was his signing to Juventus. On Tuesday, July 10, 2018, his transfer for 105 million euros to Juventus in Turin was made official. It was the highest transfer made by a player over the age of 30. On 18 August 2018, Cristiano made his official debut for the team against Chivo Verona. During his first season with the team, Ronaldo equaled John Charles scoring 10 goals in his first 14 league games. He was later voted second in the UEFA Best Player in Europe Awards. In January 2019, Ronaldo won his first Italian Super Cup. In the Champions League, he scored a hat-trick against Atletico de Madrid. Cristiano made history in April 2019 by being the first player to win the league in Spain, Italy, and England. His goal number 600 was scored on April 27, 2019 in the Classic against Inter Milan in the Derby d'Italia. After the COVID-19 pandemic break, Ronaldo competed for the Golden Boot by scoring 50 goals in the most important competitions in European football. On January 20, 2021, Ronaldo again won the Italian Super Cup with Juventus. The star ended the league campaign by winning the Capocannoniere Award for Top Scorer. Which club is Cristiano Ronaldo playing for currently? On August 27, 2021, his return to Manchester United was confirmed, a team he played for until 2009. During the last few weeks, the star had announced his intention to leave Juventus. At the time, he was negotiating with Man City, but in the final, he signed with Man United. His legend is getting bigger and bigger. This time at Manchester United, he reached his 800th goal on December 2nd, 2021. And he's the first scorer to reach this figure. He did it against Arsenal by getting his 801st goal. Who's Cristiano Ronaldo's partner? Ronaldo is the partner of Georgina Rodriguez, a model dancer and internet influencer. On October 28, 2021, the soccer player and his partner, Georgina Rodriguez, announced the news of their second pregnancy. But on April 18, 2022, Ronaldo announced on networks the birth of his fifth daughter and the death of the male twin. The couple shared a statement on Instagram with the news asking fans for consideration for the loss and thanking the doctors for everything they did for the twins. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, the subscription button, and the notification bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel. Do well to share your thoughts about Cristiano Ronaldo in the comments section below. Thank you.